All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. What I'm going to do today is get the doodle bug hopefully in the garage and I can start tinkering with the motor. I've got like th less than three weeks to get this going for a uh, steam pageant around the corner here. So I'm going to tear into the motor. We'll see if we can make it run. So let me go ahead and get a bunch of junk out of the way and we'll get this thing in the garage. It's just that easy. A little ghost ride down the old case, and we got it right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this the rest of the way into the bay, and I'll probably start pulling the radiator and the hood off, and then we'll start tearing into the motor. So let me see if I can roll up with these big tires. Ah, oh yeah, look at this big. Ah, it's just like being on. It's like being on the Price is Right in the wheel here. You just got to grab low and spin it. Grab one and spin it. Where's Bob Barker when you need him? Bam! There we go. I'm gonna go get this shirt off, put on my work shirt, and then we'll be rolling on it from here. There was one screw holding the hood on. Usually there's a hold down here. That's all broke, so this will come right off. Just like that. Check this out. It's got some... Uh, Homemade flames painted on here. This will make an awesome wall hanger. I've got other hoods that are in better shape, but this will make an awesome wall hanger here with a handmade, hand painted flames with a patina. So I'll set this aside. Check this out. This is pretty cool. This is the uh, governor that would have held, held the RPM at one solid RPM. I don't know if it was ever hooked up. It's possible it was, but. Doesn't seem to be any way to hook it up here, but that's cool. There's a hole cut here. Bink. Originally, I just had a manifold heater, and somebody did a, how they always do back in the day: is they take a bunch of drill bits and they drill a hole all the way around, then punch it out. Because they didn't have hole saws apparently back then, so that's got a hole there. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the fuel line off the carburetor and the exhaust manifold, take all that off. Uh-oh. Oh, 
that's my mixture of uh, fluids I got soaking in there. Let me get a pan. Hold on. So that was down in the exhaust manifold. Here we go. Now we should be free to pull this whole wad right off of here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Might have seen one of the problems. Exhaust manifolds full of mouse nests. Let me go dump this outside. This ain't very good. I got a lot of mouse nests in the cylinder here. Got a lot of rust in the number one exhaust port. That's not good. What I think I'm going to do next is drain the coolant and I'm going to pull the distributor out of here, pull the water neck off, pull the radiator off, and then we're going to loosen it up and pull the head out off. See if I can bust to move this hose loose off. Yeah, that's nasty. Oh, uh oh. I see rust. Aha. Aha! Look at this! Bink! There's a radiator. Let me lay this face down. Aha! What we got here? A lot of ladies on the steering column. You can run the... Right here with the rod hooks on here and you can run the... Advanced retard the timing, so this is the timing rod here. And I think the distributor body will pull it, pull it right out. Loosen up the jam nut. And then back the retainer screw off. So the jam nut here, then the retainer screw. Back that off. Take it right out. It's got a little pin that holds the distributor in. Now the distributor should pull right up out of here. Just like that. Let me go ahead and run the spark plugs out first. So, I accidentally snapped them off. The part that I found inter interesting was the first time I took these out, two of the spark plugs were brand. Two of the spark plugs are brand new and two of the other ones are used. I thought that was kind of interesting. I wonder if this engine has ever been apart before. This is brass, so in theory it shouldn't hurt the head. Oh, it's happening. I see, I see something. So a little bit of water come out this side. So what's happening? When we take this off, is it going to be full of mouse nests and dead rodents and cornflakes and dead cylinders, or is it going to be savable? Hopefully we'll find out 
shortly. going to be. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's just these two valves here. And man, this engine's got like no ridge in it. I wonder if it's been bored once already. Yeah, this ought to free up. There's there's light pitting in number one cylinder. Not real bad. I'll clean these valves. I'll clean this up. It'll, I'm sure it'll smoke like a son of a gun out of, out of the cylinders, but I'm, this will run no problem. We'll clean this right up, clean all the valves up. Yeah, this sucker will run. As soon as I get this, I can even stick the hone in here a little bit and get her going, or some sandpaper and sand the scale out of this. This this will run no sweat. The rest of the cylinder is mint. What was nice say? This thing will run no problem. Let me get the vacuum cleaner out of suck all this crap out of here oh got this soaking up here so what I want to do is pull the side cover off get a look at the valve train all right here so we'll do that Aha! This is cast iron, so don't drop it. So this is all the valve springs here, obviously. The valves go up into the head, or up into the top of the block where they open to the head. Here's a spring. This is the uh, oil pump drive shaft. The oil pump's down here. We'll loosen this up because we got to drop it with the pan. We got all your valves here. We got just a little bit of rust. These are the lifters here. And the cam is down below here in, in the surface. So I just got a little bit of rust on this number one valve, exhaust valve. I'll probably have to take out and uh, sand the seam real good with some sandpaper because I'm sure it's all pitted up to crap and it might have low compression on number one cylinder unless I can lap the valve in a little bit. So I think I'm going to call it here for tonight. This is probably the end of the video here. I got the oil draining out of the pan. I'm going to let it drain for overnight. But what I think I'm looking at this valve. This is real rusty around here and in here. And this piston stuck pretty good. I might need to soak so a bunch more a longer time. Blech. You know what I mean? Soak for a longer time to free up. So what I might do is go out back. And you saw in the video where I moved to the tow truck, the other junk parts truck over here. Bink! I might go out there and drag that uh, take the sheet metal off the front of that engine and use the tow truck with a chain fall. I might pull the engine out of that truck and bring it in here and strip that down because I know that one rolls over. And I might put that engine in this truck, in this doodle bug for out of that truck because that truck's just for parts. That's not going to run again. And uh, I don't want that engine to set up out there, you know, get moisture in it or whatever. So I, I should take it out of the truck and bring it inside anyway. So. I might do that, go pull the motor out of that truck and bring it in here and break it down and uh, might slap that engine into this thing in the meantime because this is looking kind of nasty in here and without putting a new valve in this I doubt it's going to have compression on the number one cylinder because the, the valve looks pretty nasty and the, the seat's probably pretty nasty so we'll see. I mean, I, this can be broken down. The rest of the cylinders are in nice shape. They hardly got anywhere. So this would be a good engine to overhaul. Get all the valves out of it and uh, clean it up and uh, overhaul it with new rings and stuff. I think with a with a honing, this would clean up nice, and you could put new new uh, valves in it and all th things like that. But I don't have time to do that right now. It's like two weeks to the steam show. So I'll think I just go out and get the motor out of the other truck, and we'll slap it in here and get this thing going. So anyways. As always, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hit the bing over here, the, the circle. Bink! And uh, we'll get back to wrenching on some stuff. We'll get back on the other Model 8 trucks here. Hopefully, we can get this sucker going to take it to the steam show. 
But anyways, we'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop.